told the doctor Kylie Jenner. Hello boo friends and welcome to my fall DIY and decor video. I did a couple of DIYs. One was a fail. That was a food fail. It was a definite Pinterest fail. Sometimes you fail and sometimes you just gotta pick up the pieces and move on. And that's what I did. And I prevailed. <laughs> Alright, so for this DIY you will need a canvas, a bottle of gold spray paint, two printed out versions of your sugar skull, you can find them online, that's where I found mine, and what you'll be doing is you'll be spray painting the full canvas gold. I make sure to get the edges as well, just because I didn't want any white showing. A better woke up inside another man said nobody noticed. I'm so excited the senators if I don't tell me nothing's changed. So once your canvas is dry, you can go ahead and peel off your stencils to reveal the white behind it where you're gonna be drawing or painting. The next step, this is optional, you can prime your canvas with an acrylic paint primer and then once you're done with that you can take another printout of your stencil and tape it to the back of your canvas so that you can use it to trace out the design if you don't feel comfortable just drawing it on freehand like I did. I'm not the best when it comes to drawing so I definitely wanted to have a stencil as the base which I did with using a pencil and then once I was happy with my design I went over it with a black sharpie marker that really gave it that bold look that stood out against the gold spray paint. I'm That is my finished Sugar Skull canvas art. If you wanted to add some color to it, I think an ombre would look really cool as well. But I was really happy with the black and white and the simplicity of it. So for this next DIY, you will need some orange table tennis balls, known as ping pong balls, some orange string lights, some pipe cleaners, some leaves, needle and thread, and something to cut with. I used a box cutter. So the first thing you want to do is cut an X shape at the top of each ping pong ball. That way you can insert the mini string lights into the top of it. Cutting into the ping pong ball was a little bit difficult so I kind of used a saw motion. Once you're done making the hole at the top of your ping pong ball, then you can go ahead and push the string light in. And I ended up pushing in most of the light and a little bit of the black. I only bought a pack of six ping pong balls, so I ended up spacing them out pretty far apart, about ten lights. Plus I knew that I was going to be adding my leaks on, so I wanted a little bit of space between them. And once the ping pong ball was attached to the light, I took my pipe cleaner and wrapped it around the black part to make it look like the top of a pumpkin. 
Once the green pipe cleaner was wrapped all the way around, covering up the black to look like the stem of a pumpkin, I would just cut it off with my scissors, and I didn't really need to glue or tape the pipe cleaner to secure it. It just kind of stayed. So this is what it looks like when the little ping pong ball and pipe cleaner are on. If you would like, you could also draw some faces on the pumpkins to make it look like jack-o'-lanterns. So next, I wanted to thread my leaves on to my piece of thread to kind of make it look like they were cascading down, just to give it a more fall look. And I was kind of poking them in different spots of the leaves just so that they could fall a little bit differently. And then once I was done with putting my three leaves on, I would tie it to my string light and that was it. So for my last DIY, and this one was definitely the easiest and of course the most fun because it was easy, I decided to paint these wooden uh, words that I found from Michaels that had, had the words boo and eek on them. I painted one white and painted one purple. I painted the back as well as the inside just so that it would be consistent throughout and I did two coats on them. On the second coat, as I was painting each letter, I would paint one letter and then put some glitter on that letter, shake off any excess, and then repeat the same process until the entire front of the word was covered in glitter. For the second word, I just repeated the same process, painting the back and then the inside and then painting one coat on the front and then on the second coat, putting glitter on each letter as I was painting it. These are a very simple and easy DIY, but I really think that it adds a really nice little sparkle and pop to your mantle or fireplace. For this last DIY, you will need a chocolate mold, white chocolate chips, food coloring, and popsicle sticks or cake pop sticks. First you will want to melt your white chocolate chips in the microwave at 15 to 20 second intervals. Then you want to take your chocolate mold of your Dracula's mouth and take a paintbrush and paint in the individual teeth and fangs with the plain white color. This is where I learned the vital lesson that if you add cold food coloring to your warm white chocolate, it will harden and it will turn disgusting. So internet to the rescue, since I didn't have the appropriate dye to dye the chocolate, I found out that if you heat up the food coloring and then put it into the warm white chocolate that it'll be easier to mix the color without the chocolate hardening. You want to make sure that you shake the food coloring bottle to even out the distribution of heat throughout the bottle because if you don't then you're still going to run into the same issue. They do sell colored candy melts and I definitely would suggest to buy those instead if you don't want to hassle with the whole heating up of the food coloring and possible chocolate hardening. Once you have your chocolate poured into the mold, you'll want to take your popsicle or cake pop stick and stick it in there. Once all your chocolate is poured into your mold, stick it in the fridge and let it harden overnight, and then you're done. So those were a few of my DIYs and decor for Halloween slash fall. 
Um, I just love them. Like it makes my little apartment feel super cozy and fall literally is like the best time of the year even though I don't really get to experience it that much living in California. Like the leaves kind of change colors but palm trees don't. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye boo!